hi guys in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make two unique diy vases and i'll be using one simple dollar tree item if you watched my video last friday you'll remember this wall sconce that i made using dollar tree wavy plates these plates they're so versatile so today i'll be using them to diy two vases so i'll be making one floor vase and one table vase i'm so sorry about the reflection i'm wearing green but I just wanted to show you how clear it was after the tacky glue was dry. Okay, so let's get started with our DIY vases. So for the first DIY, I'm going to be calling this one my DIY twisted vase. Twisted table vase. Because this will be a small vase, ideal for a wall shelf or a side table. So for this vase, I'll be using my soldering iron. And I'll just flip my plate over and I'm going to be cutting out the base. And I'll just use my soldering iron to go along the edge, right at the edge, so I can get all of the base out. So I did that for two packs, which is 24 of the plates, and I'll be using 48 plates total, that's four packs. So these will be my top layer. Let's pretend that I'm gluing these plates, okay? Um, you're going to take each one and glue around the base, and then just rest it in the other, and they'll all stick. And now I'm just going to spray paint my vase, and I'm going to be using this French Blue by rust -Oleum. And you just want to mist it lightly and give it about three coats. And that's it for this one. So let's move on to the second project. I'm going to be making a circle with eight of my wavy plates. And I'll just use my hot glue to join them by the sides. And I'm trying to keep my hot glue close to the base of the plate. So it won't spill to the front of my vase when I'm done making it. I love these plates they can be used for so many things leave me in the comment section let me know one thing that you have used these Dollar Tree wavy plates to make or something that you've seen someone else made that you think was unique or anything that you have planned for these plates let me know in the comment section so I made six circles in total and now I'm going to be using my Dollar Tree dowels um, the 12 pack dowels and I'm just going to take eight pieces out of that pack and this is what I'll use to join my pieces together So I'll just use my hot glue to attach each dowel and I'll attach it to the center of each plate. And this is to ensure it will be long enough to fit all six of my circles.
now I'll just take each of my circle and slide it right onto the dowels and then I'll just use my hot glue to reinforce it. And this is the last one. And now I'll just use my alcohol to clean up the area so I won't have my hot glue and my fingerprints in my paint job. And I'll be using my chrome spray paint from Rust-Oleum. I left it to dry for a few hours and now I'm going to be cutting out the base and I'll be using a piece of foam board for this I'm just marking around the area so I can have a guide to cut the actual piece that I need the piece will be four and three quarter inches so I'll mark three quarter inch in and I'll use each corner as my guide Then I'll just join the points and cut out the piece with my X-Acto knife. And then I'll use my hot glue to attach it to the dowels and then I'll add pebbles to help to keep it firm. And that's it guys, we're all done. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making them and I hope you give them a try. They're super quick, simple, easy and unique and I hope you love at least one or both. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And please click on the screen to continue watching more of my videos. And I'll see you this Friday. Thank you. Bye-bye.